Joey Bronwyn Lund from Bronholm Tours here. Um, I'm pretty excited today because I'm actually going to uh, take you for a walk through Tivoli Gardens in the middle of Copenhagen. So I really hope you enjoy so the tour. So this is the front entrance of uh, Tivoli Gardens in the centre of Copenhagen. The um, park is absolutely beautiful. It's a wonderful place to visit and uh, it's a very special time of year to be filming and it's actually Christmas time. So uh, let's go in and have a look at all the beautiful Christmas decorations. in the summer of 1843 it was. So it makes uh, Tivoli the second most oldest amusement park in the world. The oldest is actually another amusement park just north of here um, in uh, Denmark. But uh, 1843, so it's been going for almost 200 years. And as you can see, it's uh, decorated up for Christmas. In the summer, these trees on our left-hand side are not here. So they've actually put in these enormous Christmas trees just for the festive season. We'll go and have a little walk around in those markets when we, uh, when we come back around again. Over to the right and just sort of behind us, um, has just opened a, a food hall, this really excellent food hall um, that uh, surrounds the gardens. The snow isn't real, it's fake snow, and uh, my son just uh, described it as feeling like mashed potato. So it's not cold either. One of the very traditional things to do at Christmas time in Denmark is to drink uh, a mulled wine, which is called glug in Danish or, or glühwein in German, and uh, drink the glug along with some eplesjuer, which is a small, almost pancake ball that used to have a piece of apple in them as a special treat. They've kind of lost the apple. That's why they're called Ebleskewer. We're going to turn off to the right now and go down to a bit of a sideshow alley and then we'll come back and uh, tour the rest of the park. The reason why I wanted to walk down here is because uh, off to the left is uh, the world's oldest roller coaster. It's uh, still a wooden roller coaster and uh, the operator actually rides on the roller coaster to control the speed. And here it is on our right. We'll just wait for a minute and watch the controller get on the roller coaster. I think they're waiting for the roller coaster to uh, fill up. It's a Monday today, so uh, Tivoli is quite quiet compared to the weekend. It's not quite Christmas school holidays yet.
So this is the sideshow alley part of the park. And uh, we'll turn around and uh, do a loop back around. And then we'll come back past this section in another five minutes or so. going on rides and hanging out with their friends. And out to the left here is the central train station. So it's very easy to get to Tivoli. It's right across the road from the central train station. That's just one of the side entrances. Now we're coming back around to where we left to go to the sideshow part. We've got the old roller coaster on our right hand side as we walk past. Just going to walk up into the central part of the whole park. And then walk around the back. The whole theme this year is based on train travel and the children can go inside this carriage here and pretend to be a train driver for five minutes. In front of us here is the centre stage and there's performances every day at four o'clock. And this is the main centre of the park. Got a beautiful, very Danish, Scandinavian station here. We can go in, and in here you can actually get your glug and ever skewer. It's a magical place. Straight in front of us here is the town hall. One of the things I love about Tivoli is that it's right in the centre of Copenhagen. And so when you walk around Tivoli, you can also see some of the wonderful buildings of Copenhagen. <laughs> I 
over to our left is the theatre and uh, there's a very funny uh, crazy Christmas cabaret satire uh, that is run every year. It's run by a, a British woman called Vivian McKee who has been living in Denmark for a very long time and she very cleverly combines the humour with uh, the Danish language and the English language. And of course, in this uh, era of Brexit, the uh, satire this year is called The Three Brexiteers. So we're just going to walk around the train, the model train track here, and rejoin the path that we were on um, when we came into the centre of the park and uh, follow that path around past some of the rides and uh, continue to just enjoy the wonderful Christmas decorations. In the summer, this part of the garden is full of bulbs and it's an absolute riot of colours. So they do completely change the way that the park looks from season to season. It's also open um, in, at Halloween and during the winter with a winter theme as well. So we went right down here a few minutes ago, now we'll turn left. So here there's a little bit of history. The Merry Corner is reserved for rides and games. Until 1920, it was a festival ground with varying themes, e.g. the Old Town. And the photo in front of us is from 1952, with old shop signs, ship names, create a chaotic yet cosy ambience. So once again, there's just so much history in this park. <laughs> and the rides have these beautiful Scandinavian designs. back corner and uh, as we go around if we look up to our right we can actually see the old sorting office of the post office green tower on our left, on our right hand side over here on our left used to be an octopus with an octopus head and uh, they've actually changed it now to spacecraft so they update the rides every well it's probably every 20 or 30 years I guess because it was an octopus for as long as I can remember and that's about 15 years since I moved to Copenhagen actually mirrors 
and there's coffee shops and restaurants on the right hand side. And uh, on our right hand side here is my favourite ride in the whole park. It's called the Flying Suitcase and uh, it's a theme on Hans Christian Andersen's stories. Now we're entering Chinatown in Tivoli. And on our left is a ride called The Devil. And it's a pretty full on roller coaster ride. double back and walk back around and through the lake. Not through the lake, but around the lake. So this is the other very back corner of Tivoli. We'll go up and have a look at a few more of the rides. This merry-go-round is a real classic. I've been on a, a spin on this one quite a few times, especially when my children were much, much younger. Once again, we've got the town hall in the background here. lake and in the evenings there's actually a light show on the lake See, we've just doubled around back towards Chinatown and uh, we'll uh, hang a right and um, go up to the Vintage Cars, which is another extremely popular ride that uh, we certainly enjoyed when we had very young children. rather impressive pagoda on our right hand side which is uh, surprisingly enough a Chinese restaurant
back towards the theatre again, past these wonderful market stalls. here because what I want to do is uh, get back to the lake and just uh, work my way around to the last and final corner um, of Tivoli. When um, you come in through the main entrance you're actually coming in on the bottom right hand corner of the park so you can work your way around Tivoli by coming in at the right hand bottom corner and then uh, heading up to the back right hand corner then across to the left and around so we're just going past the boats that we went past before in front of us and uh, crossing the bridge And then we're going to turn left, just retrace our steps slightly and uh, continue along around the lake. Going in the opposite direction. And we have the uh, wonderful town hall directly in front of us as we come around the corner here and head down to the left front hand corner of the park hand side here is a themed brewery. So they do actually brew beer here and it's called the Ferry Pub and actually there's a bit of history here. The restaurants around Tivoli, the Fairhorn Brewery or the uh, Ferry Pub Brewery was part of the temporary festive presentation the fishing village but remained. The microbrewery was created in 2005. We're going to go past a frigate um, from 1993 and it's the third ship afloat in Tivoli Lake. The others sank in 1901 and 1940. The restaurant next to it was originally named Divan Tok 2, which was for gentlemen accompanied by ladies. And Divan 1 was for gentlemen who wanted to smoke tobacco. So obviously you couldn't smoke tobacco and be with a lady at the same time. You had to be doing one or the other. So we just go around the back of the uh, ferry hub here. And it's got a lovely water wheel on the left hand side. Over to the right uh, is the children's, I mean the whole thing is for children, but there's a wonderful playground um, that uh, has a lot of uh, adventure equipment um, but I'm not going to go in and film that today I'm just going to focus on uh, this wonderful lake and uh, the ship in front of us of which there have been three the previous two have sunk and then the restaurant where gentlemen could take their ladies is over on the back left hand corner we'll walk around the lake and walk up through there But directly in front of us we can catch a glimpse of the playground up to our right with the uh, magnificent town hall as the backdrop to the playground. And we've got a lovely tower here as well. to the right hand side is an old castle 
I'm actually not sure what the history of that castle is, but it's a beautiful specimen. It's currently called Honey Cake, Honey Cake Castle. That's a nice name for a castle, isn't it? Honey Cake Castle. So I'm just going to walk through this lovely garden and out the other side between the two lovely restaurants, Divan 1 and Divan 2. Um, and then we will have pretty much covered Tivoli, a quick tour. But my plan is to come back in the summer and do a film of the park in the summer because uh, it's quite different, as you can imagine, uh, with a completely different makeover with plants and flowers in place. So you can sit by the lake in these lovely little tables. So now we've circled back around to the theatre and uh, I just want to spend about five minutes just walking through the markets and uh, the Peacock Theatre which is where ballet performances are held in the summer and um, the thing that's special about these ballet performances is that the Queen has often designed the costumes. The Queen of Denmark has often designed the costumes for the ballet and uh, she has a lot to do uh, with the arts in the country which is just fantastic a great monarch she is and very well loved by her people so we're coming back towards the main entrance again just going to enter into these small little markets that pop up in the winter time around Christmas. Usually this area is grassed off and it's just an open plain, but they do set it up as a market during the Christmas period. As I said, these pine trees here on the left are not usually here. So uh, it's amazing that they've actually put these in place. And here we are back at the main entrance again. So that was a tour of Tivoli at Christmas time. If you enjoyed the tour, please don't hesitate to share, comment and like the film. And if you haven't already, subscribe. It goes a long way to helping the channel. This is Bronwyn Lund from Bronholm Tours, signing off. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.